Alright, James, can I have show you guys how to make a rice bag? You put the pins in the material to hold them together so while you're sewing them, they don't move. And you can put it, they, once you get them, once you get it made, you can put them in the microwave for like three minutes and they'll keep you nice and warm. Okay, I'm going to start by, I'm going to put it under there until I see it's right at the beginning of my foot. I'm going to put it down. Then I'm going to slowly, and another thing is you're supposed to have it on a straight edge. So, straight straight stitch so it will just be straight so when you, if you have a zigzag you don't have a zigzag line I make it to right there I push the needle down in the material Pick up the foot and then I turn it down. I usually leave a little bit of material on over here because sometimes the material frays at the end. So that's what I do. And another thing, before you start the if on the material there is a crease, you should always start from the crease. Okay? So let's keep going. Right there. Now I'm gonna pick up the foot. Oh, that's too. That's little. It's. A, I need to put my foot back down and go a little bit more. That might be a little too much. Good thing there's a backup button on mine, so it stitches backwards, and that's okay. Now it's gonna still have a nice corner onto it. And then I'm gonna put my foot down. Now, once I get down to the, close to the end, you want to leave a gap open to right there. I pick my needle up, pick the foot up, and then I can pull it out. Then you take your nice sharp scissors, and then you cut them, cut off the strings, and then you hang them to the back of your sewing machine. Okay, and then you take from at the beginning, there will still be some thread. So, I would snip that off so you don't forget about it, like I've done in the past, but... And then, there's your stitch, and then you start just taking the pins out, and then you're supposed to have the pin cushion, so you put your pins in there. And then, um, once you get done doing that, uh, where you finished sewing like where you left the gap open which is right here then you just start taking the material and flipping it inside out okay and then <coughs> so I like to do that and then I just start pulling it out and then I shake it out and then I see what's left, and then I pull it all out. Take the corners. But, see at the corners, there's sometimes there's, you can take your pin. Sometimes the corners are bent in, that's okay. You take a pin from your pin cushion, you push it in there, and most of the time it would work. And then it brings out the corner, and you can rub out the corner. And the same thing goes for all the corners. You mostly want the corners all nice and neat, okay? And so, um, when you go... Okay. Next, you have white rice, three pounds. You can get it at Aldi's or any store, mostly, nearby. Then, you mostly cut the corner... Okay. Then you take your funnel that you should have, 
and then you put it, put it in there, and you hold it tightly around there, maybe. <laughs> start just pouring the rice in. It will get stuck so you might have to stop for a minute which I just made a mess but that's okay because you could just put it in your hand take it out and just put it in there and then this time it went in. Don't worry about the mess because it's an easy cleanup but then you just keep on pouring the rice in Sometimes you might have to shake it. And you just keep pouring it. Sometimes it gets stuck in the funnel. It's okay. easier when you have two people and just not one when it's just me usually somebody's here to help me but that's uh, it's okay so you can mostly do it with one person it, it's a little tougher than just with one person then it's easier with two because one person can be pouring in the rice while the other one's holding it the funnel in place I like how I got it rested on there so it pours in while while I have it rested on there. It it's it's a little easier and then Sewing is not easy because you get pricked by the needles a lot, but that's okay. Luckily, I have a thimble, which I'll show you in a minute once the rice gets done pouring in, which we're almost there. So that's all the rice there. So I got it in the funnel, so I'm just going to jiggle it around till it all goes in. And then there, it's all in. And then once you're done with that, you fold it in, fold the corners, fold the edges in. And then once you got it like that, you should take your pins and then pin it. To hold the material still. Well, really, you, sh you should pin it up here so it holds both of the materials. Oh, yeah, here's the thimble I have. I put it on this finger so I don't prick my finger. <laughs> okay. So. So let me move the rice bag over. Usually I don't put the, the um, needles in there. I usually just, this is how I do it. I, I just fold the corners in and then hold it and then put it on there. And then maybe. And then you just sew it really, you go slow. And 
and then if your if your sewing machine has a back stitch, you want to back stitch it forward and back a couple times. So there. And that's really how you make a rice bag. Like I said before, you can put them in the microwave for like three minutes, depending on the microwave and that. And that's really your rice bag. And there's other materials that I do for rice bags. I have this wonderful, nice blue. I have nice SpongeBob for the kids. Then I have, ju I just have other ones. I have cats, um, soccer balls. And I have this nice dog one. I have this nice dog one I do. And I have, um... I sewed this, and I, I put it in the fair. I won second prize. I did a vest, some shorts, and a thin sack in that. And I got second place in that. And let's see, what else is here? I got a lot of ribbons in that. So that's that. And at, I can... You can contact us. I can do all kinds of rice bags and that. Bye.